Hi there, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. Um, about four and a half months ago on June 1st, well, today's October 15th, Friday of 2021. And back on June 1st earlier this year, I had a dream I called uh, Wuhan, Wuhan dream. And it goes about like this. I'll just read it to you. Uh, I was watching a video on Facebook in my dream and a guy is talking. I can't remember exactly what he what he looks like. Uh, but I don't think it's important. And he asks a question and wants people to leave comments. I, I can't remember exactly how the question was worded, but basically it was, uh, he was asking people if they've ever been so messed up uh, that they couldn't move and wanted to, wanted people to leave their stories in the comments section. So I was scrolling through the comments in my dream and I was reading people's comments and all of a sudden uh, my mother was started leaving a comment her little profile picture icon popped up and was doing those little you know dot dot dots like someone's currently writing so i'm sitting there waiting to see her comment and her comment went like this once it finally popped up and it went o o v n dot 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 o o h comma view hand v u e h a n period so i did a lot of praying on this one over the last four and a half months and I, I believe I got most of the answers fairly quickly um, but I also have had it on my heart uh, the last week or so so I think it's time to to go ahead and release this dream I believe it's going to be pertinent for a while but as I was figuring this dream out and and what the Lord was trying to tell me research VN and I kind of already knew but uh, VN is an abbreviation for Vietnam. And then uh, dot, 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 uh, view hand. And I did not know what, what that was at all. I was trying to think, but I, I kept wanting to say V U E H A N is, is view hand. And I was led to, well, what, what is view? V I E W is what I was thinking, like watch, uh, view something. And I did more research as, as I was, I was like, let me start with the basics of what I know, something about Vietnam, I believe. And in Vietnamese alphabet, it does not have the letter W. So I didn't know that. So it would look like uh, Wuhan, Wuhan. And it would be V, U with the line over it, H, A with the line over it, N. And, you know, this whole dream has led me to, in all different kind of languages, the, the lettering system of like German and French and how they pronounce view is all different. I believe in French, it's vu and in German, it would be like vu, the V would be more like a W. And I think there's a lot more guys trying to tell me there too. It's just, it was kind of interesting, but it got me off on a whole different tangent, but I'm just going to stick with the dream. Uh, of what he's trying to tell me here. And so I think the OOs were at the beginning of what I read my, on my mom's comment um, were, in, were kind of like instructions on how he wanted me to pronounce it. Wuhan, but he also, uh, the Lord knew I would want to pronounce it at first. View hand, which I also think he wanted me to read it that way. So I think it's a double meaning. He's telling me he wants me to watch something, keep an eye on something. But then once I study more, the OOs remember it's Foo hand. He's helping me figure out my dream as I as I go along and uh, and pray to him to give me insight and revelation as to what he wants me to know. And I also researched uh, view hand and. I guess a video game popped up, uh, China Dragon Serpent, uh, named Conte Viewhan, V-U-E-H-A-N, same way I saw it, and he's a vampire dragon uh, in a dragon cave game. He sustains himself by drinking the blood of others. Vampire dragons can only reproduce by changing the eggs of other dragons, puncturing the shell with their fangs, and injecting venom that kills the baby inside. And I believe the Lord is through this dream is really uh, relaying what is on his heart uh, in these times. 
Um, I believe the guy speaking at the beginning that I can't remember what he looked like was, and who was so messed up he, he couldn't move uh, is almost an example of how God feels um, with, with China and um, what, they're, what they're doing to his people. Uh, there, I believe this is a revival message, but, and I think my mom being the one typing in the dream, uh, is, was an example of, uh, like her name is Connie and, and sometimes in my dreams, God uses people and the, what their name means or how I feel about that person or a little bit of both. But, um, Connie means a staunch or is a steadfast in, in one definition, and it implies a steady and unwavering course in love, allegiance, or conviction, steadfast in their support. Resolute implies firm determination to adhere to a cause or a purpose. And it's God saying he's going to be steadfast in what he intends to do in China and, and with the attack on his Christians there. I've read article after article on how persecution of persons of faith has intensified under Xi Jinping's policy of sinicization. I mean, the Chinese government, the Chinese Communist Party, it's long viewed independent religious practice as a threat to its rule. Um, while the party doesn't seek to eliminate religion, it does seek to supplant the place religion holds in the hearts and minds of its adherents. So, I mean, if it, if it cannot supplant it, it tries to co-opt it at the very least. And so I'll get into um, some Bible verses, I, be I believe, saying what is on God's heart in this time and how I was led there. Um, when you take, uh, you know, he could have just spelled Wuhan for me, <laughs> but he made it an interesting, uh, hey, there's stuff I need you to research. And so I take the U and E, and that gives me uh, U equals 21 and equals 5 in the alphabet. And the Lord speaks to me with numbers a lot. And so, and sometimes when it just stands out, when you're with the, when you feel the Holy Spirit, you get these messages and you kind of just let it lead you to where God's wanting you to, wanting you to find, especially when you feel it. Uh, and you get that by praying a lot and he'll answer you. Um, but I was led to, uh, 21 five, which gave me revelations or pardon me, revelation 21 five. And he who seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. And uh, not only was he telling me kind of how he wanted me to pronounce the Wuhan with the double O's, but it also uh, gave me OO for a Bible verse. I felt that. And uh, when you O equals 15, 15, you get, because there's two of them, I get John 15, 15, repeating letters for me always kind of just pop out at me. Um, John fifteen fifteen. no longer do I call you slaves, for the slave does not know what his master is doing, but I have called you friends for all things that I have heard from my father, I have made known to you. And since I did the two O's, I also uh, felt I should do the, the VN for Vietnam, take those letters and that V equals 22 and N equals 14 in the alphabet. So it led me to Matthew twenty two fourteen, And that's the parable of the banquet. And for many are invited, but few are chosen. And uh, a common uh, interpretation, the classical interpretation of Matthew's version of the parable is that the king is God. The king's son is Jesus himself. The original invited guests are the Jews, the king's servants who are attacked are God's prophets, and the new guests are the Gentiles and other unworthy. And this last one that stuck out to me, um, it just started with the letter O, kind of like when O Vietnam, O Wuhan, I was watching that get typed out, and um, it's Matthew 23, verse 37, and it starts off, O Jerusalem, Jerusalem the city that kills the prophets and stones God's messengers. How often I have wanted to gather your children together as a hen protects her chicks beneath her wings, but you wouldn't let me. And I felt like I was just supposed to take the Jerusalem and Jerusalem and replace that with Vietnam and Wuhan. Oh, Vietnam. Oh, Wuhan. 
and you know the communist regime is trying to stop God's revival but God wins God's going to get his revival amen so I hope I didn't bore you guys to pieces with this dream but I was moved by it I knew the Lord wanted to tell me something and I'm just trying to um, uh, spread what I believe is on God's heart and what he, he wanted me to put out in this video and I'd like to end it with a prayer and um, a prayer against communism and and uh, Heavenly Father uh, in this hour of so many dangers for the Americas and, and the world turn away from us the scourge of atheistic communism do not allow communist regimes which deny all the commandments of God to be established in the many countries born and formed under the sacred influence of Christian civilization. Therefore, Father, nourish and intensify the rejection which communism encounters at all levels of society in, in the Americas and across the world, Father. In your name we pray, Lord, amen. Thank you for saying that prayer with me. Uh, and God bless you guys. I hope uh, this message today blessed you. And uh, pray for our country, pray for people all around the world. Guys, love you. Have a good day.